This is an introduction to X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy. Photoelectron spectroscopy uses different light sources to learn about the interactions and positions of atoms and their electrons. This is done using photoelectron spectrometers, which use a high energy light source to energize the sample. This light source is usually invisible light in the form of X-rays. The X-rays have a higher energy level that is able to be transferred to the electrons and that makes them jump out of the sample. The photoelectron spectrometer is a large metal container that keeps the electrons on the path to the detector. This detector tells us a lot about the electron that jumped off the surface. That electron is like a hand for the atom. It can hold hands with other atoms via their electrons. These are called bonds. Sometimes certain atoms hold hands tighter with certain atom friends than others. This makes them harder to pull apart. That means that it takes more energy to make that electron jump. This energy is called the binding energy. The changes in the binding energy tell us whose hand the electron was holding. Once the electron jumps off the surface, it is moving at a certain speed. Some electrons move faster than others. This speed is called velocity. When an electron is moving, it has lots of energy. This is called kinetic energy. The faster an electron is moving, the higher the kinetic energy. As the free electron moves around the container, it runs into a detector. This detector is like a wall, that when the electron bumps into it, the detector can tell how much energy the electron had and how fast it was moving. The detector can also remember how many electrons of the same energy and the same speed bump into it. We call this the intensity. Once the x-rays are done making the electrons jump, the computer takes all of the energy, speed, and number data from the detector and puts it all together for us. Then it makes a picture that shows us how many electrons at each energy bumped into the detector then we can tell how many of each atom was present and whose hand it was holding. 